Okay, this is just going to be a short one. This is a variation on the Atari Pause mod. Um, I had a customer request that I use a bicolor LED so that it can show when it's in pause and not. Um, it's actually very obvious when it's in pause. You always get some kind of weird video like that. It's not doing the scrolling thing in real life, but if you notice right here, my power LED also changes color. Green is when it's in normal operation, red in pause. Very simple, but also pretty effective. I like it, it's kind of neat. I'll open up here a little bit and just uh, give you an idea of how I did it here. Okay, here's the inside of the four switch. This is a Rev 13 board and it has the uh, factory condition sticker on it and all that stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, I've taken off the original channel select switch and put on a double pull double throw switch here and I drilled a couple holes for the outside mounting tabs one of them just happened to hit a ground trace so I could solder it down and help mount a little bit and actually cut off uh, one of the legs for one of the contact sets so that all it would do would um, take take it to ground which is still connected to this trace and if you run it down this wire right here it goes over to my AV board where the pause circuitry is at and then the other set of contacts are running the LED and uh, that little wire there I've ran um, ground over to the middle contact so when the switch goes one way or the other, it's actually throwing um, throwing ground from uh, one cathode to the other, other on the LED right here. And luckily this one was um, pretty similar uh, needed resistance for red and green, and they were both fairly high brightness you gotta kinda watch that. I had another one I ordered from Mauser and it was really really low brightness on um, green and, and fairly normal on red so the resistances were way off so this one was like 140 and 150 so I just used a 150 right here on the anode and then the two outside legs are the cathodes which go back to ground on the switches so not the easiest um, probably won't do it a lot just because of, like what I said before is it's fairly fairly obvious when it's actually in pause mode on the TV but there you have it